got a heck of a situation going on right now. On March 18th, dude makes a tweet about me, about a video that I made, lying about me and lying about the video and trying to stir up a mob to false flag the video. The tweet itself getting almost 6,000 likes. In this video, I'm going to explain why this dude is lying. And I'm also going to explain how this situation involves much more than just myself. This guy, along with the hate group that he's a part of, have been targeting artists on Twitter for months, harassing them, saying terrible things about them, trying to get them to not only delete their accounts, but to also end their lives. And this guy likes to pretend that he stopped doing that sort of thing when that's a complete lie as well. He's even today gone after another artist who I've since been in contact with. We'll talk about all that. Let's start with the tweet. March 18th, Bonk Genshin says, please get this freaking video down. I'm dead serious. I know I was 13. I know I was young, but there's no reason to send your fandom to hate on me when I was younger. Report this for hateful and abusive harassment. Hashtags. Even the other two are still traumatized by this. We three ran the account together. We felt so depressed about it. We couldn't even tell our freaking parents because you know what happens. You're a freaking monster at Hero Hey. And then he adds these people with bigger followings trying to get them to jump on the false flagging campaign. Now, some people might say, you should censor this person's at. To which I would respond saying, this person has publicly made these lies about me, is publicly running a false flag and hate campaign against me with a tweet that now has almost 6,000 likes. By the time this video is uploaded, it might very well have over 6,000 likes. If you think I'm in the wrong for publicly responding directly to the public claims and harassment campaign that they have started against me, consider this. This person is lucky if all I do is respond on YouTube and on Twitter. And if I don't, if I choose not to pursue legal action, against him as well. And on the topic of, I can't even tell my parents. Yeah, probably because your parents would watch the video and find out what a scumbag you are. Or the alternative, they are a grown adult anyways, lying about being 13 or 14 years old, trying to use that as some sort of shield for the harassment that they have sent to artists because they've already been caught changing the age in their bio anywhere from 13 to 22 years old. So why would I believe someone who's already lied about people is lying about me and has already lied about their age multiple times? Now, what's a lie specifically? Okay, he says that I sent a fandom to hate on him when I never did any such thing. In that video titled, Look What They Did to Poor Venti, it was actually a follow-up. It was part two to another video titled, Genshin Impact Artist Deletes Entire Account After People Rip and Edit His Own Art. In those videos, we talk about a viral tweet from a person named Igiri, who was showing these two Genshin accounts at Genshin site and at Black Genshin that harassed a Korean artist by taking art, ripping art from the Korean artist and editing it. Even after the artist basically called him out for being rude and asked him to stop what he was doing. The response from Bonk Genshin who is apparently willingly outing himself now as the same person from those videos, which by the way, if he's so afraid of those videos, why would he now willingly expose himself as the person from those videos? Nobody really knew that he's the same person. This is new at Bonk Genshin. And here he is being like, oh, by the way, that's me. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Point is, he was going after this Korean artist, was asked to stop. His response was basically, no, LOL, I'm going to keep doing it to which he did just that. Took more art from the Korean artist, edited it again, and the Korean artist ended up deleting their entire account. That's what those videos are about. Now, in those videos, I never said that anyone should go after this person. I simply talked about threads that were already viral talking about the situation. I covered it and I gave my opinion on it. Furthermore, it would have been impossible for me to have sent anyone at him because if I recall, by the time I even covered the situation to begin with, both those accounts, Genshin site and Black Genshin, were changed slash deleted. So Bonk Genshin's current claim that I sent people after him is an overt lie for many reasons. Let me also add that if Bonk Genshin really had a problem with the look what they did to poor Venti video, that would mean he would also have to have a problem with the Genshin Impact artist deletes entire account after people rip and edit his own art video. But he's conveniently not tweeting about that one, 
Almost like he's hoping that people jump on his hate and smear campaign against me based purely off the title and the thumbnail. Look what they did to poor Venti of that video without actually watching the video and finding out that this dude harasses artists. And now let's get to the current things that he's done. As I mentioned near the start of this video, he's been going after an artist even today by the name of Zapu. Hopefully it's Zapu, not Zapu. Hopefully I didn't get that wrong. Anyways, I saw part of what happened and I decided to reach out to Zapu to get the rest of the story from them directly. To understand the full context here, we've got to take a very quick side note. It seems Bonk Genshin has some sort of vendetta against Looming. Really hates Looming. And Bonk Genshin is a part of a hate group that has a group chat. More on that in a moment. But they also run an account titled at Daily Looming Hate. The same account, by the way, at Daily Looming Hate, which has tried to get Lily Glazed, another artist, to end her life. And so it seems this hate group, including Bonk Genshin, found out about Zapu because Zapu makes Lumine art and they hate that or something. They can't stand that. So they've taken Zapu's art. They repost it places. They mock it. They make fun of it, including using Zapu's art for their daily Lumine hate account, using it as their profile picture, to which Zapu had politely asked them to please not use my art for your hate account. And they ignore, they refuse to take it down and continue harassing Zapu. They've even attempted to get Zapu to join their group chat so that they can all gang up on Zapu and harass Zapu together. Clearly, we're dealing with a bunch of very confident, very brave individuals here. Those are just some examples of what they've been doing to Zapu. And from today, 5.44 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Zapu said, I'm going to cry as someone who's been the target of Marshall, that being Bonk Genshin, and their friend group's bullying, seeing so many defend them for just being a kid makes me feel sick. Being a kid doesn't excuse the awful threats that they've been sending to others. To which Bonk Genshin found, quote retweeted, telling Zapu to cry. And I don't want to repeat this stuff really, man, but you can see right here, essentially advocating for Zapu to hurt themselves or, or, or mocking them for potentially hurting themselves, to which people began taking note of what Bon Genshin was doing to Zapu amongst other artists as well. And Zapu would say this stuff, which is, to be quite frank, difficult to read. I, I just don't understand why anyone would treat an artist like this. Zapu would then add, my mental health was fine. It was getting better. Then I see that Marshall and his friends are still harassing, making fun of my art behind my back, and people are defending Marshall for the wrong reason. Am I invalid as a human? Do my feelings not count? And the whole Marshall, AKA Bonk Genshin thing with him saying, oh, I'm just a 13 or 14 year old. How dare you call me out on my actions? Or, oh, wow, a child made you cry? You know, all that kind of nonsense. It kind of reminds me of how back in 2021 with that whole Korean artist situation that I mentioned earlier, apparently Bonk Genshin on those other accounts, when they got called out and were getting backlash, were using this as their excuse, as, as a shield for it, essentially. They were getting called out a year ago, just about for the things that they were doing to artists and for using this sort of shield. Now they're doing the same stuff in a way, harassing artists, but their new shield is, oh, I'm just a child, I'm just a minor. Which by the way, like I said, very well may be a lie to. Let me also emphasize that I didn't cover everything that happened to Zapu here. It's, uh, it's, it's difficult stuff to see, man. I got a real soft spot for artists. It's crazy to me that people will harass artists like this. Artists who literally just want to make cute stuff for people to enjoy, to make art for people to enjoy. And then they get hate for that. It's really something that gets to me, I, got, I gotta say. So let me, let me also say now for a more positive note here with Zapu, please consider checking that Zapu out, uh, excuse me, Zapu out at Zapparona. If you are on Twitter and you like Genshin art, I think you'll be happy with that decision. There's also another situation that I witnessed occur back in January with Bonk Genshin. In this particular situation, I can't even show here because even on Twitter, here's the warning you can see, it's been age restricted for adult content. Basically what happened is there's an account called Daily Moosh. It's about Scaramouche, Daily Scaramouche content. And they were running a 20K celebration, an art session says, to celebrate reaching 20,000 followers, I'm inviting you all once again to draw your favorite puppet Scaramouche. And says, no NSFW and be respectful of everyone's art. 
So there's this website where people can join in together, drawing Scaramouchard together. Bonk Genshin decides to come around, joins in on their Scaramouche art session, and instead of making Scaramouche art, like everyone else, decides to put some of the most graphic, overtly racist messages over the art that people had made of Scaramouche, completely ruining the art session. Once again, I can't show you what they put, but perhaps I'll make a tweet about all this stuff and I'll include that tweet over on Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter or you want to check it out, go check out my Twitter page. Uh, I should have it up there. It's insane stuff. Overtly racist. Some of the most awful things you could say about groups of people, including slurs, the whole nine yards. Like it, it, it's quite insane. And all this did was prove even more what I said in my videos in 2021. I said that the stuff that Bonk Genshin, Genshin site, Black Genshin, whatever they go by, the stuff they were doing was not only terrible harassment to artists, but the way they were coming off made it look like they were racist themselves. Turns out I was right about that. 100% right about that. Because the stuff that they put on this is once again, some of the most overtly racist stuff they could possibly do. So to run through the list, and maybe I'm missing some things, or maybe there's some things that I don't even know about. In summary, Bonk Genshin harasses artists, has caused artists to delete their art and or delete their accounts, is an overt racist, lies and manipulates people, is a part of a hate group and or runs a hate account, creates smear and harassment campaigns against people. All in all, I think it's safe to say this is a terrible person. And to the 6,000 people currently supporting him in his campaign against me, well, I do forgive all of them for their support of Bonk Genshin. I don't think they truly know what they're getting involved with and who this person is. But I hope next time they don't just jump on some brigade like that and they look into it a little bit more first. That's really all I got to say on this one. Once again, please consider checking out at Zapparona over on Twitter. If you like Genshin art, I think you'll like what you see. And as always, thank you for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you there. And also tomorrow for the next segment.